This is Best Pawn. We're located in Riverdale, Maryland. It's the uh, best pawn shop in the world. It's the best pawn shop in the world. Ain't no doubt about that. I don't know what everybody else is talking about. Uh, okay, people. This is what's going on, and I'm walking you around Best Pawn. I want you to understand that this show is crazy. And that what we're going to create here is going to elevate your mind and educate you on what pawn shops do all the time. All right. Now, right now, what we're doing is floating through the back of this place and you're trying to see what I have back here, but I won't let you because I'm rolling on through fast. <laughs> OK, so let's see here. Here we go. All right. Now, my name is Henry. Henry Burgos. I am Pawn King. Uh, we get we get stuff like compressors. Uh, it's my man over there checking out the spot. That's what I'm talking about. We get. Um, all kinds of tools, battery tools. This is our whole music area uh, where, of course, um, I think uh, the Jackson 5 came to buy equipment off of us because we literally have everything. Violins, basses, Ibanez, fenders, all kinds of crazy stuff from American fenders to Korean fenders from North Korea and uh, microwaves. That's uh, my manager. His name is Mike Randolph. He's insane. He's a little crazy. Uh, he like runs a forum of crazy people who make video games for Atari and stuff like that. I call him the wizard. Dave my name is Mike. My rank is manager or head grunt. I've been held hostage for seven years. Not at all. That's Melissa. She's been with us for a while. She actually uh, hooked me up with this job here, and if it wasn't for her, I'd probably be cooking crack. <laughs> I probably would be, because I know how to cook crack really well. Your name, please. Melissa Jackson. How long have you been a pawnbroker? Almost 20 years. Damn, no yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> how long have you been working for Scott? Uh, six, seven months. Okay. This is my second round. I was here before. Okay. And how do you know Scott? Um, my husband Dave and Scott were childhood friends. And uh, Scott was the best man in my wedding. That's my mom. <laughs> <laughs> and um, that's how I know him. We've known each other for a very long time. 30 years. Wow. Aren't you friends with his baby's mama? Yeah, I'm best you? friends with his baby mama and all the drama, and that's the reason why he hired me back, because he's trying to get in her good graces. <laughs> so I run his Laurel store. Why, right, thank you. You're welcome. Have a good night. Bye-bye. Yeah. Okay. Um, we got speakers. We got all the kind of equipment. You got rapping equipment, because Mike, for some apparent reason, knows how to wrap equipment up better than Chinese people do. Um, that's Dave, who's one of our vicious uh, guitarist and of course another employee he likes to showing the wrinkles on the back of his head your name Dave Dave what Dave Fisher all right how so long you been working for right? Best Pawn I go on a, I go on an eBay 14 take, months I go on an how eBay and take a look do you at know it, Scott what is it uh, what side how do you know Scott uh, I know him I met Scott through a friend of mine and um, ended up becoming friends with Scott do you like being a pawn broker? Absolutely. <laughs> I stubbed my toe and took it out on the dog. And then I ran out of vanilla ice cream and struck my wife. <laughs> and I find out my wife's been dead for seven years. Who the hell did I hit? <laughs> this is lovely Crystal. Oh, look at her. <gasps> Name? Crystal Nicole Cutlet. And how do you know Scott? He's my daddy. Okay, oh, and how long you been in the pawn business? Since I was born. Since you were born, your parents are pawnbrokers, aren't they? Yep. You're the daughter of a pawnbroker. Yes, I am. Are you going to start working at the stores? Of course. All right. Well, we'll see. We will see. We will. All right. Well, thank you. Oh, how old are you? 19. 19, going on 30. <laughs> what? <laughs> Ew, no. It's Charlie, 23. You okay. All right, bye. bye. I've been running around these pawn shops since I was three. And this is her bad boy boyfriend, right? Yeah, Maximilian Joseph Marinelli. Italian. Italiano. That's the big man right there. Yeah, let's go over to the big man. <laughs> he is literally 
the big man. He's the one who runs the whole business. Uh, no joking, he's a cool dude, down to earth. Love this guy. Uh, sold me one of my one of my guns. I love him. Here to Zach right here. Of course, is helping my lovely lady right here because this is what goes on here. This is what we do. We are a pawn shop, and people do come in to uh, pawn stuff. Hi, I'm Zach. I've been working here for three months. And how do you know Scott? I know Scott from people I used to work with. We work here now. Okay. And do you like being a pawnbroker? Yes, I do. Okay. Do you love your boss? I love my boss. Which one? Which one? All Silver Spring or Laurel? All this of them. one. Silver Spring or Laurel? All of them. Okay, good crush answer. <laughs> uh, but um, that's Ellie right there. She's one of those teachers who got fired during that whole <laughs> the teacher thing, but they gave her job back because she's a vicious beast. Ellie Perilla. How long have you been in the pawn business? Uh, really not in the pawn business. I'm actually a school teacher. So I just do part-time work here at the pawn shop. <laughs> and how do you know Scott? Uh, I've known Scott for about 22 years. <clears throat> Oh, good for you. He was best friends with my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> no, really, he was. That's good old Dave right there. Notice how everybody is tattooed in here, which I think goes back to my man over here. Yes, that's what the fuck I'm talking about. All right, then we're going over here. Excuse my language. All right, that's Dave once again. David Jackson Jr. <laughs> how long have you been a pawnbroker? Um... I started working at the pawn shops when I was in high school. Three years. Huh? Three years. Uh, yeah, so I guess three, three years, four years almost. Okay. And how long have you been working for Scott? Uh, I would say about three, four months now. Hmm. But um, I worked for a different company since I was in high school, so about three years from now. Okay. And how do you know Scott? Um, I guess him and my dad are good friends from school, I guess. Babies. Yeah, babies, I guess. Uh, so it's been a long time, and I just known him from family. Oh, you're the one that he wiped his butt when he yeah. was, you were a baby. I guess. Oh. <laughs> all right, thank you, little Dave. All right, you have a nice hey. evening, Ma. All right, all the time. That's good old Milton right there. Affirmative action. Affirmative action, no doubt. He works with us, of course. Your name, please? Milton Goose. But you can't call me that unless you got at least C cups. If you don't have C cups or bigger, you just call me Trey. From, from Are you serious, dude? Uncle <laughs> Okay, how do you? How long have you been a pawn broker? Uh, so long I don't even remember. Okay, and how do you know Scott? Because my brother you know Is your brother long? Okay. Thank you. Rudeness. Where you work at, Milk? work at Silver Spring, I bring all the lady customers in. That's why they hire me. Ah, see this face? Damn, you see that? You see that? That's horrible. And of course, I work in the... <laughs> of course, I work in the store that gets no women. <laughs> yeah, all right, so... We're going over here to Alex. Of course, you got, you got Alex right there. He's a vicious beast. He's been with us for a second. Your name? Alex Landis. How long have you been working at Best Pawn? One month. And I love my boss. I love my boss. Oh, Thank you. <laughs> That's because you haven't worked in Silver Spring yet. I'm have you? Whatever. <laughs> how, how, how do you know Scott? Like He's my boss. <laughs> That's how. Yeah. And how did you come to work for Best Bond? You know uh, I know Zach. I've worked with him for years. So. Okay. I'm calling the guy. All right. Do you so, like being a pawnbroker? I love it. Awesome. Wow. All right, thank you. Man, and check this out. You see, <laughs> look. <laughs> I didn't want to stop recording that. That was crazy. <laughs> look, check this out. Notice all transactions reported to local law enforcement, and you can't smoke while you're saying that. All right, so let's go over here. We got this sign up here. This is for all the shadies. Notice, if you stole it, we don't want it. All right, everybody. Don't just sit and talk to the camera. Oh my God, all right, all right. Well, I was just trying to show you what's going on. Um, here we go, we're going over here to Taryn. Taryn was another one of my supervisors. She's a beast. Now she's actually, she's like district manager now. Would she be known as the hot end in the company? Uh, I guess, yeah, you know, we could say that. Drains everybody's job for when, when minor things. That's the way it happens. When, when we're together, we kick people's asses. Yeah, so. And that's, she does more of the kicking the ass. Are we recording? Yes. Okay. 
Hey, my name is Taryn Perella. I've been a pawnbroker for close to 19 years. I worked for Scott for 15 years, and yes, I also am a baby's mama. I had baby number two, Lucas, and I love my job. I love being a pawnbroker, and it's probably the best job in the world. You can do almost anything. You can have the best time. You can have the best co-workers. So, please come check us out. Thanks. Bye. Wow. Don't play with me. Who's caught up? And who are you related to? My dad. Who's your dad? The boss. What's the, your dad's name? Scott. Really? How long have you been in the pawn business? I don't know. How old are you? Ten. Well, that's how long you've been in the pawn business because you're the son of pawnbrokers. Yeah, how long have you known Scott? I don't know. <laughs> Forever. No she doubt. She will call people out. Yeah, she Jump will. She will call you out. I feel bad for customers when they come in here Me sometimes. Too. At the same time, they don't Are mind it because they love that she's saying it. You know, those kind of guys who like getting hit. What's your nickname? Billy Goat? Taco? What is it? Nacho? What's your nickname? My name is Don Poncho. Don Poncho? <laughs> you ain't know that shit. What's going on, people? How you doing? Your name? Henry. Henry what? Burgos. It's my own. How long have you been a pawnbroker? For about 15 years. Really did. It was 14 earlier. Now it's 15. You Do add on math. a year every single time. <laughs> How long have you been working for Scott? I've been working for Scott for about three years. Really? And uh, how do you know Scott? I know Scott because we're about the same height. <laughs> and we, um, belly we all, size. Big belly size and everything. And, uh, and I, I like him. You like him? Yeah, he, he likes guns. <laughs> and I like guns too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, thank you, Henry Burgos. Talk, talk, um, yes, sir. Well, thank you, Islamic. Sir. Alahana, Anna, you money, Dell, Anna, you money, Dell, Alahana, Alahana. Thank you very much. That's all for you. Clear! Oh, God. Hey, this is Hollywood. Tweak him, tweak his nipples, make him hard. Mm, mm. There you go. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What'd you want to ask me? Since you took my BMW away for not going to school, will you give me this? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't think I can. Get it spray painted pink and get Diva on that. Seriously. I don't think this is right for you. Why? You're too clumsy. You end up as a roadkill. No, I won't. Yeah. Just... yeah you have... can get the little circle mirrors right here. You have road rash. Come out. Oh, Max, can you cover this road rash with a tattoo? <laughs> I don't have any tattoos. That's so bad. That's my IG icon. Oh, that was good. Oh, that was
creeping. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? That's what you're giving me? Are you recording me? Is that what you're giving me? Huh? Are, 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 are you recording me? I'm recording. Are, are you recording me drinking <laughs> Yoo-Hoo? <laughs> Is that what you're giving me? What am I supposed to do? Introduce myself? Scott, the owner. Keep your hands to yourself, homie. Those, those pretty ladies. Those pretty ladies. <laughs> He's an Italian pervert. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's too much to be said. <laughs> I'm recording it all. I want to get a video of me with the two girls, right? And then you walk around behind. You see us, like, just standing there, like, taking a nice picture. Okay. But you come back around, my yes. hands on their ass. I'm like, okay, okay, you know? okay. But see, that because they're not going to know about it. But they're being, they're like, oh, I can't do that on TV. Look, 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 look. Okay, 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 okay. All right, all right. Ah! Hey, Chris, <laughs> what? Uh, oh, that zone was horrible. No, I don't want to see that. Oh, when, the, what? Oh, when the dude, when the dude oh, tried to pawn. I'm going to not to show me what it looks like. Yeah, that's 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 oh, when the pipe head, when the pipe head came yeah. in the store with a, with a, a baby car seat and it didn't have the cloth part. It was just the plastic. Oh, no. And I'm sitting there like. Baby gonna get rug burned. I was looking at the dude, looking at the joint. Henry, you forgot about the person that came in oh, with the phone. Oh, dude came in the shop like this. You know? Let me show you. Let me show you how. It was fucking hilarious. Right? Language is. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it like when it comes from from outside to the store. Cause it was one of these phones. All right. A house phone. Yes. A house phone. Bro. Take the okay. out of it. No, nah, let me show you. He was sized. My man <laughs> thought he had an iPhone. He was in this joint. This I did. Show you. Facial expressions never. Oh, yeah. 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 We're stand, it was a, like this, a big a house phone. Oh, a house and me and my co-worker like this, looking at the joint. <laughs> and I'm looking at my co-worker, I'm like. I'm like. A house phone? Yes. So I go. <laughs> so I go. Where's the rest of the phone? <laughs> he goes. Oh, I got my other phone on that joint. It's on the charger right now. <laughs> so I, me and my co-worker <laughs> My man said, "Would y'all take him like that?" <laughs> oh, all right. All right. Okay, your name? I'm Scott Cutlip. I'm the owner of Best Pond. How long have you owned Best Pond? Sixteen years. Yeah. Sweeping the floor. Quiet. How long have you been a pawnbroker? <clears throat> 22, 23 years. Um, got into the pawn shop right out of high school. Uh, started. I opened my own in 1995, and since then have bought five other locations and opened up one other store. So we have a total of seven locations. So and that's it. And that's my story. A crazy right. Italian yeah. family, yeah. and we all love each other. So, um, yeah, no, we do. Don't get me wrong, but um, and then you know, as you met Taryn and Ellie, I want to be famous. <clears throat> that uh, that's where the fun begins because. I've uh, been in love with both of them for quite some time, and uh, it creates a lot of drama. Baby uh, mama drama. Baby mama drama and everything, so we have some <coughs> good action going on here. A nice the fight, manager fight. and the boss, boyfriend, yeah. girlfriend, fighting all the time. It's crazy and it's funny. Me one time, me. one time, she threw a piece of paper and it actually cut his eye, yeah. sliced his eye open, and he had to get laser eye surgery yes, because of it. Yep, yeah, okay, cut. And